So today our goal is to search for Richard Walker. Uh, you don't want to mess with these guys. Some of them are extremely large, about 14 foot or so. They can get up into the six, 700 pound range. If you see something coming at you, Adam, and, and it looks like a log, it's not a log. We're going deep into the Everglades. The shadow it casts looks like a car. Kind of. Oh, there's one. Oh my, dude. No, 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 go back, go back, go back. This morning we are in Naples, Florida, taking on a new case of Ricky Walker, who went missing in 1994. And Ricky Walker is the father of Kelly, who we have her over here today, as well as the nephew, Jeff. Yes, sir. And we also have Detective Steele that's going to be helping us out on the case today in the area. So I'll just kind of let you kind of, you know, tell us a little bit about your dad and what you know. I mean, and you were how old at the time? And I was 14. He was the only parent that I had. He was a single dad, me and my brother. Uh, me and my brother are only 10 months apart. It wasn't like my dad to do anything like that. You know, not to call, not to keep in contact or anything like that. I'm looking at, all right, we have a trailer park here. We have a pond here. We know that there's a canal that goes around three quarters of this. Right now, this makes the most logical sense because we also know that on the cameras right over here behind us at the gas station, my understanding as well, is that your father was seen on camera there that verified that he was in this area as well. Is that my understanding? Okay. And this is a great collaborative effort of not just the family, but also law enforcement coming down, opening up their files as you've seen them do for other cases that we've solved. So we really appreciate, you know, you sure. coming into the case today. Where would you put us? What direction? What do you know? This thing's been looked at from a, different, a lot of different angles over the years. Uh, there's been searches, there's been canals that have been drained. There's a lot of uh, man hours have been expended on this particular case. The issue with diving or searching water down here is the fact that we have so much of it. And in the winter months, we do have a lower water table. However, there's still deep uh, canals out here and they go for miles and miles and miles. When our dive teams are going into the water down there to do recoveries or searches, we typically have people up on the banks to uh, cover them to make sure no alligators come in. And uh, you don't want to mess with these guys. Some of them are extremely large, probably you know, 14 foot or so. If they can get up into the six, 700 pound range. And they're very curious. Have you guys used any sonar technology on this case yet? As far as I know, no. So today our goal is to search for Richard Walker and we're gonna start at this first pond. As you can see behind me, this seems like a very logical place for his car to have gone into. They're gonna sonar this and then if we don't find anything here, we're gonna head a little bit up north to check some ponds and hopefully we can find this car. Like you heard the officer say, they haven't used sonar yet, which is a great sign because if we use sonar today in these locations, we could narrow down the search and find Richard Walker today. So back in 94, when Ricky Walker went missing, the fence was not out front by the gas station, <clears throat> which is where he was picked up on camera at one point throughout the evening. My name is Britton. How are you doing? Hey, Raul. Great Rowan. to meet you. We've all got a bunch of boats, so I think we're all going to split off into some different locations. Okay. And, and uh, I think they're just talking about a game plan, I guess, how we're going to start okay. the day. And yeah, because there are so many little pockets like this around here that oh, it's yeah. hard to pinpoint, but yeah. And I've heard there's like alligators and water moccasins and it's like, it's yeah. pretty bad out there. <laughs> yes. And obviously the closer you get to the east, you're getting closer to the Everglades and the National Park. So for sure. We and really appreciate y'all coming out there though and, and making sure we're okay. I appreciate you guys coming. This is a great, great thing. If you see something coming at you, Adam, and, and it looks like a log, it's not a log. It's not a log. 
No, it's not a log. And so we'll probably put you guys at like one end. Okay. We'll go to the other end cool. and just start start working each other. Sounds good. Towards each other. It'll be like three, four miles. Awesome. Sounds good. Yep. And it's never been sonar. Nothing here has ever been sonar. <laughs> We do have a machete in case we come into contact with any snakes or anything that's really trying to harm or hurt us. Go on, Jared. Let's do this. We got our sonar right here. We're gonna be looking to see if we see anything. As you can see, we've got an 80 right here and an 80 right here, and it's scanning 80 feet out. So you can see this is our boat, our path right now, and this is everything on the side. We just kind of turned a little bit, so that's why it looks a little weird, but we should be able to hopefully see a car somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it's really narrow. Yeah, and it's now, beautiful. So really it's right beautiful out here in there, Naples. If there's something here, I mean, we don't really, it's, we're just gonna pop up on the screen for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's about two feet right here though, so it doesn't look like any uh, spots that are deep enough to hold a car. That looks like a rain cloud right there though. It's about to rain on us. And uh, it's sprinkling right now. So we're gonna keep going and keep searching, but we're in the we're in the rain right now. <laughs> That's literally Florida for you because there's blue skies right over there, and we just happen to be under the one rain cloud. Dude, the shadow it casts looks like a car. Though. The shat the shadow it casts looks like a car. Kind of. No man. He's looking too, isn't he? What do you think? No? I don't know. There's something big right here. I really didn't want to get wet. It's the Florida rain, dude. It'll stop in 30 minutes. Shadow over it, it looks like the shape of like a, car. a car. Yeah. All right, here. Go turn around and let's see. Right, We're right um, here. Like here. Oh yes. Yeah, it's it's uh, only three feet under the water. Three feet under the water. So I'm thinking water itself like eight feet deep. I'm thinking we keep we keep sonar in it, we try to get a better view on it, we keep magneting it until we eliminate it. We have to eliminate this as a target. On it right here. It fell off of it. Okay, so the edge of it is right here beneath us. So it should be going this way. Follow me? Yeah, we scanned it, it was facing that way. Does it, how does it look on sonar? I, I mean I still got the light like the side scan going. I'm sorry, I got I can tell we're over it. Okay, I'm on the edge of it. The magnet's sticking a little bit. Okay, the way it looks to me on the sonar is it's on its wheels, but it looks like something bigger than a car. Almost like an SUV, maybe a van. Here it is again. Sounds kind of like a rock. Yeah, right here. Oh, oh. oh, I got a, I got a good hit. Uh, yeah, but it's not super no, magnetic, just... which means I can almost say it's not a car. Okay. Well, your best bet is going to see what you can see on my scope. Okay. All right, Josh is taking the GoPro. He's going to put it down on the stick to see if we can see what's underneath the water. Okay. 
one more pass. All right, you can see it, it's a rock. Josh just looked, so that eliminates that one. Huh? It worked really well. It worked well? Nice. So now we're on the way back. Yeah, no, no luck yet. So. No, we're gonna keep looking. We got tomorrow though. Yeah, we got tomorrow. Yeah, All right, so we're on these rocks, making sure I don't see any snakes. There's a tire, there's a bone, there's a shoe, a lot of stuff. So we're going to get in this section and go keep going. Oh, there's one. Oh, man. Look at that. Extreme danger, keep out. There's this building next to it, look. Do you guys have any idea what this is? Let us know, I think it's the dam. What do y'all think? Extreme. Danger's my middle name. Josh just found this bag full of like guts. Just don't smell, man. Oh my god. I'm gonna cut open the bag, it's really gross. Yeah. Spill it open and we'll see what's inside. There's a pig. A Woo! pig? Yeah, like a, like a whole pig cut into pieces. We had to clear it though because, I mean, obviously a pig is the same size as a human. It's not bigger, so there is a potential of it being something bad, especially with the smell like that. Yeah, that was, that was rough. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode of Depths of History. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find Ricky Walker in this episode. We spent the day searching the entire canal. Josh, what did you think of today, man? I mean, it was it was a great effort by everybody. You know, we put in a lot of work and a lot of hours into finding different locations. Yeah. And just because we didn't find them, you know, that just rules out all those areas. So needed, now we can focus yeah. on those other It definitely locations. needed to be done because yeah. of that being a shortcut home, you know, when drinking at night trying to avoid cops and that road going in along that uh, canal yeah it was a possibility plus it was eight nine ten feet deep yeah oh yeah so if you guys would like to check out josh's channel i will have a link in the description below i'll also have adam and jeremy's channel linked in the description below as well as awp so with that said thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys on the next day of searching for ricky walker